It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Washington Commanders and the New York Giants. Coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the Southern Hemisphere and the historic city of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kick off straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coach... The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one. And off we go here in Sao Paulo. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Throwing right away is Daniels. Flushed out. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the 8-yard line. Dexter Lawrence able to bust free and get to the quarterback. The start less than ideal as they already face a second and long. Here's Daniels. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. Well, two snaps ago, I don't think anyone thought a safety was on the table, yet it happened. They caught him on back-to-back -back plays breaking through the line. No amount of evading was going to save him from a sack on either play, and on the last one, he Freaking ran too deep into the end zone to set up the safety. And that flag accepted. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 40. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Now a second and 10. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. Throwing Jones. A throw right side caught by Neighbors. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. This second and four. Now Jones. Touchdown! Malik Neighbors. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants are able to stretch out their lead. Gano the extra point, and that makes this a nine-point game. A drive that time of six plays, and it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. To throw is Daniels. Looking sideline incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. To the air goes Daniels. 
Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense got it, they were already within a shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you're in trouble and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. I'm not sure they mentioned it as a goal during the week or even talked about it in pregame, but the way they're playing right now, they want this game out of reach by halftime. Not only does the safety just demoralize the opposing offense, now your guys can run out there and try to add another six to their lead. Kicking team. And they'll accept that penalty. Automatic first down. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 40. Looking to throw, Jones. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he goes out of bounds and looks like right at the 50. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Third down and one. Back to throw. Jones work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete and he will have a Giants first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Eleven nothing our score after one. Giant football and we're ready to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. That's complete. It's neighbors. He'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. It's a gain of 22 yards. That's another Giants first down. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Chris Manhurts. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants are able to extend their lead. Extra point try good by Gano. And the lead is up to 18 now. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This to the back of the landing zone. He'll return it from the one. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. Now their versatile running back. Here's Austin Eckler. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Third and four. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. And back deep, Gunnar Olszewski. That's pulled in at the 32. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And it'll be giant football first and 10. Well, this offense and their wide out headed back onto the field. And it may be time for this defense to start throwing a second defender his way because whatever they've done, it has not worked in this first half. That would almost intercept it, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. Third and eight. Back to throw. 
Jones. Able to find the open man. That's complete. That all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Wandale Robinson, 63 yards. And the Giants continue to pull away here in this first half. And it's no good. He missed it wide to the left. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Here comes the commander's offense back onto the field. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Third down and 13. Daniels looking to throw. Steps away to his left. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. On oh, the return is Olszewski. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And it will be first to 10 as they take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Jones, he's going to rifle one deep left side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Second and 10. Looking to throw, Jones. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. He's got his target. That's complete. He's still on his feet. Touchdown, Giants. Wandale Robinson. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Giants will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Gano the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it was finished up by a touchdown catch from Wandale Robinson. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The commanders back out late in this first half. Well, things for them, just to put it bluntly, man, it has been tough sledding here in the first half, facing that big deficit. The clock is dwindling now. Maybe if they can get something on the board here before intermission, they'll have at least a little momentum heading into the second half. Now Daniels. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Throwing now is Daniels. Shedding through the defense. The commander's going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to be brought down here in the 
backfield. And now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And that's into the hands of Eckler. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 45-yard line. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach. He's got a man complete. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Jalen Hyatt, 72 yards. And the Giants come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Extra point try, good by Godot. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see. Just one play resulting in the touchdown. And he'll wisely just take a knee here, and this ball will come out to the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. They started on the ground with Eckler. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. They're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Daniels from the gun on third down. Slings this deep from McLaurin. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the USC man, Adoree Jackson. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Third and long that time, he was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him, and what I mean by that is what you said, third and long. Got to push it downfield to try to pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation, and they took advantage of the young man right there. Jones now throwing to start the drive. Over the middle, taken in by Neighbors. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. On the give, this is Singletary. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Back to throw. Jones. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong. And now it's fourth down. It's now fourth down. Gano's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. 
He'll get this complete to Senate, the tight end. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 27-yard line. Looking to throw. Daniels. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. They'll come up now, third and three. Brings up third and three. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. Olszewski now to return. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out. Back now here on EA Sports. And this offense on third down today, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and seven. They'll toss this right side to Singletary. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. Here's Jamie Gillen now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and the Washington offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. Working out of the gun, Daniels. On the catch, it's Crowder. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. At the 24-yard line. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate, maybe, to get that back. It's third down. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Back to throw. Daniels. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A gain of four yards. That's good for Washington first down. They'll look to throw again. This one caught by Crowder. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. That's complete as he goes right back to Crowder. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 45-yard line. Here's Daniels. To the right side and intercepted. And the Giants will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. Second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Singletary again. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. 
in search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Off play action, Jones. That is caught, and he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On the handoff, it's Singletary. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. It's second and inches at the 21-yard line. Singletary here running out of the gun. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 56 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. They run here with Singletary. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Brings up second and goal. Singletary will take this one in. Touchdown, New York. Well, when they said before the game that they were going to try and execute every second of this contest, I, I guess that that was taken literally because here they are in the final moments of the fourth, putting another touchdown on the board, Charles, to add to this big lead. I'm not a big believer in 110%, but it certainly applies here, doesn't it? Because some guys just can't go with less. As long as there's time left on the clock, they're pushing to get to the end zone one more time. They don't really care about what the optics show. They just want to finish the game off the way that they like to play it. Full speed, all out. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. If you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that in the post-game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while. But everyone on that offense knows it'll sting a lot worse if they don't put some points up on the board. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was that they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.